Welcome to Mastercam X4 video tutorial. In our first session, we're going to be learning how to navigate through our user interface and get to know all the features and all the different sections and what they're called. We're not going to be going over every single feature and what it does in this session, but this is just a quick overview of the interface so you get a little bit more familiar with it. So we're going to be beginning by moving my mouse. As you can see, there's a black circle around my mouse. Now, if I move my mouse outside the blue area, you're going to see my mouse turn yellow now. There's a yellow circle around my mouse. Now, this I made basically because I want you to see when, you, when we are in the graphical area and when we are outside of it, so you can always follow me at all times. Now, if I left-click outside the graphical area, you're going to see a green arrow pointing to the left up here, and if I right-click, you're going to see a red arrow pointing to the right up here. And this is also for your references to see what, at all time where I'm clicking. Now, if I move back to the graphical area and I right-click, you're going to see a black arrow appear. And then if I left-click, you're going to see another black arrow appear. But they're both pointing respectively where I'm clicking. So if I left-click, it's pointing to the left. And if I right-click, it's pointing to the right. And these are all to help you stay with me at all time, even though I'll re be repeating what I'm clicking. So if I'm left-clicking, I will be saying left-click. If I right-click, I will be saying right-click as well. So I'm going to get started by going all the way up top here. This thin line right here with all your file, edit, view, this is called your menu. So whenever, whenever I refer to go to menu, view, this is where I'll be uh, referring to. Now those two big lines right here, those are called your toolbars. So you, those are you going to be using those uh, most of the time, and those are where most of your features are located. Now we're going to come down here to the ribbon bar. This is called your ribbon bar. And whenever you click on certain features, that's when your ribbon bar uh, options appear. Now I'm going to come down here to this operations manager. This is actually called your toolpath, solids, and arts manager. This is new in Mastercam X4 and it actually contains a tree-like function. So whenever you do anything to this part, it's going to start uh, placing them in a tree-like view to see from, you know, from first to last what you've done to the part to begin with to the last feature that you've done to the part. Now we're going to come down here to the status bar. All this all the way at the bottom is called your status bar. And it's going to tell you at all time what you're doing to the part or what the part's status is basically. For example, this one is in 3D view and you're looking at it from the Z axis. So from the top, for example. Again, we go to the graphical area. This whole area is your graphical area. This grid-like lines, and those are called your just grid lines. And basically you turn your grid lines uh, view on. That's why you see them. And right in the center of that is your origin. This is where we're going to be placing uh, our parts according to at all time. Now we're going to come down here to the right. You're going to see two toolbars separated by a line. One up here and one down here. The one on the bottom is called the Quick Mask Toolbar. And then the one up top is called the MRU Toolbars. Now if you notice, if you look up here to the toolbars, you're going to notice that those two toolbars are actually the same as some of the toolbars up here. And this is actually only just for your quick access to some of the tools. Some people like to just click on the tool right here and start working on it. Some people like to use it up top, but they are basically the same. You can actually place any toolbar you want on the right side here for quick access. And finally, if I come up here to the top, if I click on a line feature, for example, you're going to see another toolbar up here. Now this is called your prompt, uh, your function prompt. And uh, this will basically help you, guide you basically, uh, if you want to draw a line from one point to the next, how long that is, the exact position of the line, if you want to place an angle on the line. And so basically this is your toolbar for the feature. So I'm going to click on the check mark right here to exit it. And this concludes our session for learning how to use the user interface.